day 19. Uh, my parents came up and stayed last night. So I had a zero day yesterday in Kapunda. And mum's gonna walk with me a little way today. So Kapunda to light hummocks. We're just past there. I'm walking to the Maribel road and doing some slack packing. So my bag's very light today. There's mum, she's walking with me a little way, then she'll turn back. So about 16 kilometers for me today. It's just 11 to the campsite, but I'll keep walking a bit further. Hmm, on a bridge, no water. <laughs> Looks like an old bridge though, all yeah. stones. walked just about an hour with me and now she's going to turn around and go back and I'll continue on past Light Hummocks campsite and she will pick me up after that and drive me back to the cabin. A nice easy day for me. A bit windy today, quite chilly and I realised that yesterday's, not yesterday's, when I the day walking from Tananda to Kapunda my sound's probably all mucked up. I'd covered one of the microphones with a glue dot thing accidentally and yeah so that's blocked out a lot of the sound <laughs> even though there's two other microphones there's my mummy way off in the distance it's very nice to have them visit spontaneously on as a windbreaker as it's quite chilly the, the wind chill the sun is shining blue skies beautiful day been extremely windy the last two nights it's good to be in a cabin last night and tonight I will be again bit, bit of a spoilt hiker right now <laughs> but that's all right after tomorrow I have a string of Oh, I think it's four campsites, maybe a hut. It's good to enjoy the trail on all different ways at different times. Actually, further north will be more remote and there'll be less opportunity to stay under a solid roof and on a comfy mattress. So I'll take it while I can get it. Uh, completely missed my turn off. I knew it was coming up. Not paying attention, what, videoing, putting my jacket on. Oh, now I'm going back. Look for my trail marker. Must be turned across the field. Don't know how I could miss that. Enjoying the view on the opposite side of the road to where my trail was turning. Silly me. Here it is. I was not paying attention at all got at least 400 meters probably more down the track before I realized I was off track gut hook saves the day <laughs> once again back on the trail now gotta pay attention so with all the going the wrong way and the walking around in town I definitely will have walked 1200 kilometers by the time this is done even if the trail wasn't quite that long anymore I definitely would have done it <laughs> Again, I'm not walking the right way. I'm following the fence. I'm supposed to be following the ridge line. Gosh, the marker's on the stoby pole up there. Not along the fence. Whew. Beautiful. Nice rocks, some sheep down there that are not going to be happy with me in a moment and I can see my style across the other side. Mm. 
Ah, some ruins. Old house. Looks like no lambs here. Or oh, some big lambs. A bit older. That tree has a very flat top. Oh, probably trimmed to keep it away from the power line. Of course. Oh, trip on a plant. Sun's warming up now. It's nice offsetting the wind chill, which is still quite chilly. Following the fence. Just thinking, ooh, how am I going to make it through the next few days um, while Joe's not with me till Borough? And potentially not with me for the rest of the trail but no nope, believing she'll be good and well again back healed for continuing the trail after Borough but yes it feels very different um, game mentally going solo compared to walking with someone else um, even if you don't walk with them every day like they're there at campsite and in the morning someone to talk to I feel like it's going to be very different mental game maybe more difficult being alone I haven't really done anything solo before so not solo overnights only solo day walks so I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle it but mum said to me yesterday that they were coming up here, maybe trying to convince me to come back, <laughs> to quit, to stop. I told her, don't you dare <laughs> try to convince me. There's no inkling of anything wanting to do that. Just because things don't go exactly to plan, walking with a partner, that doesn't matter. I'm this far in, definitely want to see it through and I'm enjoying it. Sure, there's tough times, but overall enjoying it. Absolutely, no way am I quitting. <laughs> <laughs> ah, some more ruins. Ah, oh, lots of beehives. Ah, oh, that's cool. That bag hanging off me has 10 cent deposit containers in it. Whenever you're on a bitumen road out here, there'll some areas there'll be a lot along the side of the road. Some just a few. I don't know what, people can't use a bin, they just chuck it out their window, I guess. It's ridiculous. But yeah, because I'm slack packing today and meeting up with mum and dad at the end of the walk, I can pass the containers on to them to cash in or they'll probably <laughs> drop them to my house to be cashed in by me at a later stage. I have tried to pick up a, a few bits of other rubbish, not just the deposit, deposit containers as well. Oh, there's one now. Hey. Not subway cup. Oh. So, not being completely <laughs> selfish, getting the money from these containers, also trying to get some rubbish, clean up a bit as well. But yeah, I don't get it. Why can't people just take the rubbish with them and keep it with them, put it in the bin when they come to one bin at their house, just keep a bag in your car for your rubbish. Anyway, their stupidity is my gain, at least today anyway. Water source. It's been a lot of rain, not last night, but the night before, or well, early in the morning yesterday. And that's in Kapunda, there's been a lot of rain. And back in Adelaide too, so any tanks that weren't full, they're probably full now, at least in this area seen a couple of these while walking today what's to say event in progress please do not remove it's a really thick plastic um, the JLF trek hello Are you wrong? hey Are you on the wrong road? no I'm right oh, yeah. what do you mean oh, okay, right. no I've just walked up this whole road oh oh so your path's a bit different I've done it on GPS well, you, um, you well I'm going that way and like I've come up from that way. I just wonder, can I get through here? 
Oh, Tali. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can go. You can get the whole way. You can get the. Yeah, oh, it's a little bit dodgy, but it's it's pretty good. Yeah, no, you. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely get back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See ya. Haha. <laughs> My mummy is stalking me. <laughs> That's funny. She got back to the car after she left me and called saying, where am I? And I'm like, well, what do you mean, where am I? I'm, you know, in the middle of my walk. Then I thought I can send her the GPS um, coordinates of my location and she was able to drive <laughs> through, obviously not following the whole route, but she's, she's enjoying following some of the route that I'm doing. <laughs> the part that's along the roads, obviously can't drive through the fields, but that's funny. <laughs> Ooh, good thing mum didn't get bogged in that. <laughs> when I sent her the coordinates, the road looked a lot better. <laughs> Less four-wheel drivey. Pretty, all the colours. Mum said she bumped into two hikers who were coming to stay at Light Hummocks tonight. I might rest there for a bit but probably not long enough for them to catch up. We'll see. I might pass them tomorrow. We'll see them tomorrow. It's cool to bump into other hikers out here doing the same thing as you. A lot of people don't get this. <laughs> don't get why. What possesses us to do this. But obviously other hikers do. They get it. Beautiful gum trees through here. I think mum might have driven this way because I see fresh tire tracks and they wouldn't be here because we had a lot of rain yesterday morning so that's cool she's got to see a, a lot of the walking I've done today I think yeah the last two nights and during the day yesterday there was crazy crazy wind oh. Obviously that's one of the branches that's come down in the last couple of days. Nice and new style. More branches down. These sheep haven't noticed me, or oh, they don't care. According to gut hooks, I've passed the campsite, but I've not passed anything. <laughs> I'm just walking down the road. Oh, there it is. There's the campsite. Just the marker on gut hooks is about 100 meters wrong. So if you're Novo heading to Light Hummocks, just keep going past the marker on gut hooks and you'll see it eventually on the left hand side you know it looks like it's on the right hand side on the map thought I was going crazy for a second there horses there's multi-purpose platform seat and table firing lots of toilets everywhere you look let's check the tank Full to the brim because we've had a lot of rain. Good spot to rest. Yeah, this is a nice spot. I think you might be struggling a little bit to find a level uh, place to put your tent. Oh, behind the tank looks a little bit better, but yeah, not much that's level. It's about 12 and a half k's from um, where the trail starts uh, near the caravan park 13 and a half for me <laughs> i've done at least a kilometer of walking the wrong way <laughs> and then backtracking to get on track 13 or 14 kilometers from the center of kapanda so a very short day if you're stopping here i guess i shouldn't say short because short and long that's all relative about what you're used to hiking the distance you're used to uh, marshall's hut 
tomorrow that's 23 kilometers from here so it'd be a very long day if you were trying to go from Kampanda all the way to Marshall's hut. I've got two bars of phone signal here and 4G even. Leaving light hummocks now after a 20 minute rest break, ate some food. The other hikers haven't caught up or arrived here yet so I guess I'll see them tomorrow if they're continuing to Marshall's hut like I will be. But right now I'm continuing to walk on the trail out to Maribel Road where my mum will chauffeur me back to the cabin or maybe we'll go out for lunch or dinner. I'll definitely be pushing for one of those. <laughs> that is an absolute icy blast blowing. Whew. Can't walk with my puffy on, it'll get hot too quick. Might get my raincoat out. I don't actually bring a mid layer at all, no jumper, no fleece. Because I found I'd never use like, all four layers at the same time. At this temperature, it might actually be nice to walk in a, a mid layer, but I haven't got that, so I think I'm gonna put the raincoat on with the pit zips open to cut this wind a bit. It's icy. Ah, Rockfield. One annoying thing that's happened to me multiple times today and usually happens every day is you step on a stick when you're walking and then your other foot gets stuck on the end of the stick and then that foot's being tripped over by yourself. Oh, haven't fallen over yet on this trip but a lot of close calls. <laughs> Hiking poles help stop you falling over though. Sun is shining again, so I'm roasting in my rain jacket. Oh, maybe covered by a cloud in a minute and then another icy blast. So push on with leaving it on. What you do on your private property is your business, but really, why? Fingernails, they have grown longer than they normally do in everyday life. I tend to chew them a little bit sometimes, not as badly as I used to, but when I'm out hiking, I don't chew them. <laughs> Hands are always busy, so they're growing longer. Bring a nail file to keep any burrs off the edges. extra style on top of the style. Yeah, the steps are often quite big, so that should help. Here's some lambs. You really do sound like a baby crying. Oh, that's lambs on the wrong side of the fence. That's why it's crying. Oh. Maybe I can pop it back over if it stands still. If it's just gonna run away, I can't help. Should put my bag down, that's clanging. Oh, yeah. well, I gotta try. The gaps in the fence looks like it could just go through if it wanted to. Hey, I'm gonna have to try. Oh. My little lammy used the style to get over. It looked like it tried to go through the fence and like it easily could. From the size of it. Let's see if I can put it back over.
Oh, no, nah, couldn't help the lamb. Just following it down the fence, but it keeps running away and away and away. Following its mum and brother or sister on the other side of the fence, just running away and away and away. It's impossible. There's a lot of big gaps under the fence, so I'm sure it can get back. They're just really dumb. Oh, I think that might be my ride. They're waiting for me. It is. Ah. Probably wondering why I took so long. I spend 10 minutes trying to rescue a lamb. There's my ride. I have to take note of this spot so I can get dropped to you tomorrow morning.